guys, how's it going? It's been quite a while. I haven't made videos in quite some time now. It's been a few months. So today I'd like to make you a little video with, uh, we're going to talk about a Chopin etude. And something I talk about incessantly, the wheel. And I find it impossible to teach piano without going there. The wheel and rotation. This is two very basic, basic things about playing the piano that there's no way I can teach someone without explaining this. Uh, at least in a serious, uh, someone who seriously wants to learn something. So we've already gone through a lot of this. Rotation is this movement, and the wheel is whenever we have something that's like a scale or notes that are successively going up and down. And one of the best examples of using a piece to learn the wheel is the Chopin Etude, Opus 25, number one. So this is the A flat major etude. that are the same in both hands, then it's going to look kind of like eights, kind of like a figure eight. One hand is down while the other one's up. But when it's like this, it's a little bit easier because they're doing the same thing. So this is the case we have in this piece. So you can use this piece to practice this. Describe this in a little more detail. Somewhere around here, the two and the three in the middle, that's when we're up. And we're coming back down towards the thumbs. The thumb is the turning point. And then this one is down. So the wrists are down here. So the wrists are always making this circular motion. By the time you get to the fifth finger, you're already starting to come back around that wheel. So you have the middle here, and then the fifth is about where you're kind of back at neutral. You're not down, you're not up, you're going around to come back up. So, again we start, we're at the top now, we're going down by the thumbs are, keep track of the, where the wrists are, now we're down, and we're coming back up towards the fifth finger, so that we go around and we're back up now, and back down on the thumbs. So thumbs, fifth fingers, neutral. And then in between, the twos and threes are either up or down, depending which way we're going. And then you can do this when you're coming to the fifth finger. You go in. doing this, a good thing to do is try to observe how much of the fingers you're using. So chances are when you start doing this exercise, you're doing this a lot, which is playing with the fingers. Then you start to do this wheel. So you're still playing with the fingers, but at least now your arm is implicated, which is helping. Then eventually, you want to try to play Mo moving the fingers as little as possible. So this is not working so much as the arm directing it. And then if you if this is very comfortable to you and you want to go a little more advanced, there's a slight rotation inside this in the right hand. This is a rotation. So we can have rotations and wheel at the same time. Again, only if you're comfortable with the wheel. If this makes perfect sense to you and you feel like 
the key is you have to feel that the weight is transferring from one finger to another because of the way you're directing your arm. You're no longer playing with this, this is the fingers, but the arm is bringing the weight. start to do a little bit of this rotation inside your wheel through this this thing here so this is a great piece to work on the wheel it's a little bit advanced but if you're able to do it it's not a bad one to do at all a uh, little bit advanced but give it a try it's it's very good for really like uh, having, having a piece that's just wheel in both hands from start to finish and when you come to my master class we're gonna work on the wheel together uh, we'll have a master class coming up soon, so uh, if you would like to stay posted, I will be announcing that here. So subscribe to stay tuned, and have a nice week.